Talk to me about self-development in prison. Did you take um, any classes? Did you get any certificates? Did you work on yourself over the course of those years? Um, man, that's what my whole 20 years, I served 20 years of my 40 year sentence. And I tell people this all the time, that 20 years was me working on me. Um, I got certificates. I, I took barbering cosmetology. I took auto detailing. I took uh, culinary arts. I took anger management. I took victim impact. I took parenting classes. So I took everything that I could. But more importantly, what I did was I studied. I studied how to make myself better through reading, through movies. I watched Ali. And when I seen Will Smith playing Ali, I seen a lot of me in that. I seen that fight in Ali and I said, man, you know, this is something that I connected to. So when I read a story about a young lady, she was 15 years old. Her, her, her mom had passed and she had four siblings. She was the oldest of her four siblings. She went on to get her law degree while raising her siblings. And she started her law firm and her siblings was in law school behind her. And I said, that's how I want my story to end. I don't want my story to end with me behind prison bars being at the, um, the reason why somebody lost their life and all of these bad things that I had done over the course of six years. I said, man, I got to come back. I got to come back like she did. Although her, her situation was out of her control, I had put myself in that situation. But I wanted to respond to the adversity the same way she did. So I read the stories about people that, that overcame those odds that faced those adversities. And I said, man, I got 40 years and I'm coming back. I'm coming back from this and I'm coming back with a vengeance. I'm going to take my lumps. I'm going to take, I'm going to hold myself accountable. But rest assured, if I got any breath in my body, I'm coming back from this. And that's the mindset that I adopted. And I went along those 20 years on the comeback trail. How many times did you see the board before they ultimately approved you for parole? Wow. I seen the board for 10 years. I seen the board a quarter of my time, which was 10 years. And for the next 10 years of that 20, I was seeing the board anywhere from every 12 to 18 months. Bam, 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 bam. And they were denying me every time until they finally released me. Talk to me about your release. You get out, you know, is your mom still around? Because there's so much that can happen in 20 years. I know you're coming out and there's so many people who come out into society. And they come out with these big dreams and these hopes. And they done thought about all of the different things they wanted to do when they come out. But the world done moved on. All the people yeah. you expected to see, you know, they moved yeah. on. You go into 24, you do 20, you 44 years old. Yeah, I'm 44. Your lives 44. Have, have completely moved on. So, so you come into this world, what does your re-entry look like? It, it, is everybody still around? Is your mom still breathing? What, what, and what is the process to getting back up on your feet? Um, that's, that's a great question. Um, one thing I said, I took Barbara Cosmetology. And I took Barbara Cosmetology in 1998. So when it came time for me to go to work release, because I had to do a year of work release while I, was, while I was transitioning out. So that year of work release, me getting those barber licenses enabled me to start working at a barber shop. So my last year in prison, I was cutting hair in the community that I was being released to. So I was able to see people, I was able to interact with people, and I was able to make a few dollars before I walked out. So whatever dream I had, whatever idea or plan that I had, that year I was able to look and look at things from another angle sitting in that barbershop every day cutting and going back to prison, gaining information about what's going on out here, like the cell phones and all of the technology and the way people live, the style of dress, every the lingo, all of these things that you said that have moved on and advanced from 1996 to 2015-16. So therefore, I was able to look at that and then even the guys that wasn't released yet, I was taking information back and saying, hey man, Think about this, because I'm, I'm, I'm observing, and this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing the people, they're more informed 
because they have a phone. They're able to get information that we're not able to get because that phone has everything and every information that you need on it. But what they don't have is that grind. I see more people on their phones with their heads down than I see with their heads up grinding. So that was my observation. And I started to formulate that into my plan. I said, you know what? I'm not that talented. I'm not 6'6". Six, six. I can't jump. I can't do all of that. But I can get up earlier than you, and I can stay up later than you. So I started to formulate my plan like, hey, I'm going to get out and grind. When I'm open, when, when I get out, I'm hitting that barbershop before everybody, and I'm staying later than everybody. And that was my mentality. I just got to grind. And all the people that was living their life and the way they was living it, they had ideas. They had other ways for me to do it. But I stuck to my guns. I stuck to my plan. And hey, it got me, it got me, it got me going, got me on my feet, man. And I'm I'm glad I did that. Unlike in my younger day, I listened to everybody tell me what to do. And it got me in a lot of mess. So now I kind of formulate my plan around my gift, which is the grind. That's my gift. I can grind. I can grind hard. So I figured that out, man, and I rolled with it. That's such a dope gem right there. That, you, that, that is such a dope gem that I want to bring to life. You're not 6'6". Six, six. You, you, you can't dunk a basketball. You, you, you're right. too old to get in a rap game. You, you probably right. don't have a great singing voice. <laughs> but you figured out yes, what your right. gift is. Your gift yeah. is my grind. I can get up earlier yeah. than you, and I can go to sleep later than you. And That's right. Within those hours of me being wake, awoke, I am going to go harder than anybody else who's been a free man or woman for all them 20 yep. years that I was incarcerated. I love that. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.